Hey guys, we're Northern Oklahoma College, College Algebra Class, Math 15-13. I'm on Chapter 2 doing Section 1, and we're going to find the midpoint of a line segment given the endpoints. What's that mean? It means you're going to have a line segment, let's say from here to here, and we're going to look for the point that's exactly in the middle. That's the midpoint. I hope I drew that right. Yeah, five left and five right. Yeah, that's the midpoint, okay? Now, given the endpoints means if I give you this x and y here, and I give you this x and y here, if I give you those endpoints, can you calculate the midpoint? I'm going to show you how to do that. And if you get, want to get fancy, we'll label this x1, y1. That just means my first x and first y, and x2 y2. I don't get all upset about the x1s and y1s and x2s and y2s, but if you guys like to label them like that, you can. So here's my first x and y, and here's my second x and y. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I left my original line here that we uh, were talking about, and I'm just going to kind of draw a graph around it. So there's my y-axis, and I'll just put my x-axis down here. There's my x. There's my Y. You guys get the picture. Okay, so we're talking about a line segment on a graph. And we said if I give you these endpoints, can you calculate the midpoint? Well, let's just do it visually first. What is the what are the coordinates of my first point here? Well, I go two to the right and one, two, three, four, five up. So two to the right and five up. So that's my first endpoint. What's the coordinates of my second endpoint? Well, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to the right. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 steps up. So that coordinate is 12, 5. So I have a line segment that starts at 2, 5 and goes to 12, 5. And I want to find the middle of it, the midpoint. <clears throat> well, visually, it's easy to see. You know, if we count, if we count over to the midpoint, we would have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to the right and one two three four five up all right it's easy to see that visually the seven is halfway between my two and my twelve so halfway between how could we do that with math so that we don't have to draw the graph every time well to find a point halfway in between all you have to do is take the x coordinate two and the x coordinate twelve just add them up and divide by 2 because we're looking for halfway in between. So basically we're just averaging our x's. So 2 plus 12 uh, gives me 14. 14 divided by 2 would give me that 7. All right, I'm just going to put a comma here and I'm going to enclose it in parentheses because we're just talking about an ordered pair. So how do I get to 7? I add up my x's and divide by 2. I just average my x's. Uh, same thing with the y's. I'm going to look at my y here, that 5, and my y at the other end, that 5, and I'm just going to add them up and divide by 2 to find out where halfway between them is. So 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5, and that gives me my y coordinate. So how do you find the midpoint? You just average your x's and average your y's. All right, so this is what your question would look like. Find the midpoint of this line segment. It has endpoints at negative 5, negative 2, and 6, 10. And how do we calculate it? Again, we're just going to make an ordered pair here. To find the x coordinate, I'm just going to average the x's. So negative 5 is my first x, plus 6 is my second x, and I'll divide them by 2. Do the same thing with your y's. Negative 2 is my first y plus my second y, and I want to divide them by 2 because I'm averaging them. I want to find out what's halfway in between them. So my midpoint, my x-coordinate, negative 5 plus 6 is 1. 1 divided by 2 is 0. 0.5, but I'm going to leave it as 1 half. You can use 0. 0.5 or 1 half. It's the same number. I'm going to leave it as 1 half. My y-coordinate is negative 2 plus 10. That's 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And there's my midpoint. It's a half a step to the right and four steps up. Now you guys don't have to graph that, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like. Okay, just a quick visual of what we just did. So we had the endpoints negative 5, negative 2. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 steps left 
and two steps down, there's one end point. And the other point was 610. So six steps to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and 10 steps up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, just barely made it. All right. And if I draw this halfway straight, there's our line segment. And to find the midpoint, we take, what did we come up with? Uh, one half and four. Okay, and our midpoint was one half and four, so that's a half a step to the right. And one, two, three, four steps up. Now, why did my line miss my midpoint? Because I am a horrible straight line drawer. There. That's better. I probably should have used a yardstick. All right, so if I'd done it correctly, that straight line would have gone straight through this midpoint right here at one half step to the right and four steps up. So that's a visual of what you did. I, I guess it's kind of a bad visual since I did the first line wrong. Okay, let's do one more example and I won't draw you a visual this time because uh, apparently I can't draw straight lines. So let's just do it algebraically and I'll spare you the drawing. Midpoint. How do we find the midpoint? I'm going to do it all official this time. This is X and Y. We'll call this X2 and Y2. Whoops, Y2. You can call them X1 and Y1 if you want to. It's up to you. So I'll call this one X1 and Y1. And to find the midpoint, we average our X's. So add our X's together. 4 plus negative 10. I'm going to use parentheses to keep that negative by the 10. And I'm going to average it. So divide by 2. Now, add your 7s, because they're your y-coordinates, and divide by 2, and then just do the arithmetic. All the algebra is done or whatever. We just have arithmetic to do. 4 plus negative 10, that gives you negative 6, which we're going to divide by 2. 7 plus 7 is 14, which we're going to divide by 2. And our final midpoint is negative 3, 7. That's halfway in between 4, 7, and negative 10, 7.